Then the angels will call to the believers. So the angels grab them as well. And they come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In, in a hadith it says that Allah will say to them, come closer. He will say, Abdi udnu minni. My servant, come closer to me. There are some special servants from Allah that will say to them, Udnu minni, come closer to me. That, that servant keeps coming closer and closer and closer until finally the nur covers him, the hijab covers him. And there is between him and Allah a veil, a different type of veil. No angel can hear or see, only between him and Allah. Allah speaks to them. In a speech, Allah's speech, we know that Allah has, has a speech. He told us this in the hadith and in the ayat. He speaks, he has a speech, but we don't know what this speech is like. There is nothing like him and he hears and sees all things. Just like he says he hears and sees, he speaks, but how does he see? How does he hear? Not like us. In a manner that befits him, he knows subhanahu wa ta'ala. We accept it as it is. And Allah says to him, Abdi, look at your records. And he sees sins. Allah says to him, didn't you know that you did this sin and I could see you? He did it in secret and I could see you. Didn't you know this day will come? Didn't you know that today I will question you? Didn't you know? And he will say, Rabbi, I did, I did, I did. And Allah will say to him, why did you do it? Finally, the servant will say, Oh my Lord, for you to throw me into hellfire is easier than to judge me and me standing before you with this sin. So then he looks at the other next page. He sees another sin worse than the other one. Same thing happens. Then he looks near worse sins and sin keeps growing. And this poor believer is sitting there saying, my Lord, in the end, he says, Khalas, I'm, I'm actually going to help. My deeds haven't been accepted. I've done all these wrong deeds. And that's why my good deeds have been invalid. So when he is certain that he's going to end up in hellfire, Allah says to him, Abdi, you know how you kept it a secret in the former life? He says, yes. He said, why did you keep it a secret? He says, because I was ashamed of my sin, my Lord. He says, satartuha alayka fid dunya. Don't you see I kept it a secret in the former life? I didn't expose you. And that was part of my mercy. وَالْيَوْمَ أَسْتُرُوهَا عَلَيْكَ And today, I will keep it a secret. I will not expose it. In one other hadith, Allah SWT says to some of them, you knew a fault of your brother and you covered it. Today, I will cover yours. He turns the page and he sees his first good deed. Then he turns and sees a better deed and his deeds keeps growing. Then he turns back and the records are empty. The records are empty of his sins. The angels don't know. It's wiped off. The sins will be forgotten.